أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على محمد وعليه الطيبين الطاهرين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We're in the last 10 days of Ramadan, the most important aspect of this month being Laylatul Qadr. And today we will look at it a little bit more, but also about the most awesome human being who, who literally was the most perfect student of Rasulullah. You know, you could class them both hand in hand. And as the Prophet said, you are to me as Harun was to Musa. Um, when he made brotherhood in, in Medina, he said, you are my brother in the dunya and the akhirah. So we'll, we'll look at his life as well. But first, let's look at the first ayah of Jews 20. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem. Bismillahi rahmani rahim Amman khalaqa samawati wal arda wa anzala lakum minas samai ma'an fa'anbatna bihi hadaiqa dhat bahjatim ma kana lakum an tumbitu shajraha a'ilahum ma'allah bal hum qawmi ya'adilun Now here Allah is making us reflect. It's a reflection. He says he's the one who created the heavens and the earth. He's the one who sent you down water from the clouds. And then from this water, you get these beautiful gardens. Have you ever thought you could make not the trees, you could not make the trees grow without him? And then he says, look at the creation, ponder. Is there a God with Allah? Ailahum Allah? You still associate other people with God, other, other gods with God? There's only one creator. It's talking to the Makkans in primarily, but it's talking to all, all of us. You're a people who have moved away, who deviate. You cannot associate anything with Allah. He is the creator. He is Allah. Um, as you read the surah further, please look at it. You will find Allah talks about the same thing. He goes on, for example, in Ayah 61, he says, Amman ja'al al-arda qararan, who made the earth a resting place. وَجَعَلَ خِلَالَهَا أَنْهَارًا and made in it rivers وَجَعَلَ لَهَا رَوَاسِيَا and then raised on it mountains وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَ الْبَحَرَيْنِ حَاجِزًا and did you see that he placed between two seas a barrier? Again he asks إِلَاهُمَّ عَلَىٰ Can there be a God? Is there another God with Allah? وَلَقْثَرُهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Most of them don't know. In other words, they don't want to know. So read the surah. It's absolutely phenomenal. But let's now look at the du'as of the month of Ramadan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya Aliyu, ya Adim. Ya Ghafuru, ya Rahim. Anta al-Rabbul Adim. Alladhi laysa kamithlihi shay. Wa huwa al-Sami'u al-Basir. Wa hadha shaharun adhamtahu wa karramtahu. Wa sharraftahu wa fadhaltahu ala al-Shuhur. Wa huwa al-Shaharu al-Ladhi faradhta siyamahu alayhi. وهو شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان وجعلت فيه ليلة القدر وجعلتها خيرا من الفشار فيا ذا المني ولا يمن عليك من علي بفكاك رقبتي من النار في من تمن علي وادخلني الجنة برحمتك يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم ادخل على أهل الكبور السرور اللهم أغني كل فقير اللهم أشبئ كل جائع اللهم اكسو كل عريان اللهم اقض دين كل مدين اللهم فرجا كل مكروب اللهم رد كل غريب اللهم فك كل عسير اللهم اصلح كل فاسد من امور المسلمين اللهم اشف كل مريض اللهم سد فقرنا بغناك اللهم غير سوء حالنا بحسن حالك اللهم اقضينا الدين واغننا من الفقر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن وافترضت على عبادك فيه الصيام سل على محمد وآل محمد وارزقني هج بيتك الحرام في عام هذا وفي كل عام واغفر لي تلك الذنوب العظام فإنه لا يغفرها غيرك يا رحمن يا علام We will now recite a dua for the 20th day of the month of Ramadan. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma iftah li fihi abwaab al-jinan wa aghlik anni fihi abwaab al-neeran wa wafiqni fihi li tilawati al-Qur'an ya munzil al-saqinati fi kulub al-mu'mineen. O oh Allah, on this day, open for me the doors of Jannah and close for me the doors of Jahannam. Help me to recite the Qur'an as it ought to be recited. O oh, the one who sends down tranquility into the hearts of those who believe. Let's now look at Laylatul Qadr, which will be tonight, the night of the 21st. And we will talk about Imam Ali later on. Now we've talked about most of these and you can refer to the previous videos. But one of the things that is recommended to be done is to recite Surah Al-Qadr a thousand times. Now it doesn't matter 10, 100,000, but as many times as possible. And let's recite it once and then I'll go over each bit just as a revision of what it's about. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر. So قدر is known as the night of power. It could be measure, night of utmost importance, and it's also a, a, a night of value and limit. And remember. It's limitless. So when Allah says, Inna fi Laylatil Qadr, He says, Indeed, we, we is the totality of the spiritual world involved in the descent of the Quran. I've said this before, Anzalna, Nazala without a shadda is all at once. So all at once the Quran is revealed from Lohe Mahfud, the seventh heaven, to Baytul Ma'mur, the first heaven, and then to the heart of the Prophet over 30 years, 30, 30, 23 years. And then he says, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ The repetition is to magnify and to emphasize. And then he says, لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ خَيْرُ مِنْ أَلْفِ الشَّعْرِ The night of Qadr is better than a thousand months. That sets its value. It, you know, a thousand months is about 83 years and four months, which is a lifetime. So it's a night of timelessness. What happens this month, in this in this day, on this night? The نَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ The angels come down constantly. And remember, there's a shadda there, the nazzala, which means over the night, they come down constantly. While ru, ru could be Jibreel, or it could be the anything that is connected to divinity, maybe that which manages the angels. But in essence, all of them come down, bi'idhni rabbihim, with the permission of their rub, with every issue, min kulli amr, health, financial, emotional, spiritual. So there's a potential to change from limited to limitless. And all these angels, can you imagine? They come, they aspire to meet Ahlul Quran. So the totality of angelic powers come down on this night. There's a congestion on earth. Where the, do they come down? Well, it's got to be a heart that is comparable to the Prophet and none other than Imam Mahdi. And then he says, Salam, hiya hatta matayil faj. So the, there is peace. This continues until you see the light of dawn that's a gift of 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 qadr you know everything is salam everything is khair there is peace and there is khair so this actually is telling you the greatness of the message the messenger and the time of revelation it's a night we just cannot cannot ignore when we've got to really make a most of so what do we do we've gone through this before i'll go through it again make sure you've written your aspirations Remember now it's the 20, 21st night. So on the 20th night, when we, when we started off looking at it, we said it was like paper, you know, things were, thing, th there was a budget set, apportioned. 
now today tonight it's being distributed so really important to think through what i've written as my goals and my aspirations for the year and i said min kulli amr health financial emotional spiritual everything did you give sadaka so make sure you give sadaka and it reaches to where it's supposed to before tonight then do ghusl at the beginning and the end of the night ulama majlis says it says it's better to do ghusl before sunset so that you may do maghrib and isha be, um, after your ghusl these two rakats really important two rakats of salah in every rakat surah al-fatiha seven times surah al-ikhlas and then finish with astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu 70 times you won't lift your head and your parents will be forgiven isn't it phenomenal Oh, by the way, I always recommend after that recite, Rabbi Rahmuhuma kama Rabbiyani Salida. Oh, my Rabb, have mercy on them. Be extremely kind to them as they were kind to me when I was little. Then istighfar, astaghfirullah, harabbi wa atubu ilay. As many times as you can. It says a hundred times, but ten. But think through. Am I really asking for forgiveness? Think of all the things you want to ask for forgiveness for, and then make a U-turn. Remember, acknowledge the sins, the remorse, U-turn. and say ya Allah I need help not to return to sinning make this my ultimate repentance like we read in um dua at tauba and then allahumma lan qatala ta'mir al mu'minin the la'an is the withdrawal of mercy for those who manifest evil and injustice and then the amal is for placing the quran on the head and reciting the names of the ma'sumin in essence it is there to acknowledge the awesomeness of the quran which is the silent quran and then the talking and the living quran is the ma'sumin and to be able to understand them we also recite the munajat of imam ali known as the munajat of masjid al-kufa munajat comes from najwa it's a whispered secret intimate conversation and you find this munajat is divided into two parts there's asking for refuge on the day of qiyamah and the ayat from the quran and then the relationship between allah and the human being it's beautiful so recite the dua think about it and keep this dua with you throughout the year because it is an, it, it literally is showing us the relationship between allah and the human being his greatness versus our littleness it's phenomenal one of the things that we do on laylatul qadr is recite josh and khabir and i'll go over what imam hussein says and said my father ali had advised me that i should memorize and protect this dua write it on his coffin i should teach it to my family and encourage them to read it as it contains a thousand names of allah isn't it amazing and within this there's ism a'adam and remember after every stanza you know after every 10 we have khalisna min an-nar ya rab save us from the fire just as we had in dua al-mujir we're talking about protection from the fire and remember the prophet in his sermon said that the most unfortunate of those in this month is the one who has not been forgiven but today just a little bit now on imam ali alayhi salam and we've talked about him but this just a revision just so we understand remember he said tomorrow you will look back at my time and my innermost thoughts will be revealed to you then you will recognize me after i have left my position and another has taken mine and every human being lies behind his words and we looked at some of the words from nahjul balagha and i will go over them again just so that we remember who this phenomenal human being was you know he said observe yourself look how you live see what you're doing and the suffering you create we've got to think about what we're doing these are nights of qadr to be able to do that simple teachings maybe but very powerful forces to evaluate especially in these nights of qadr he urged us to transform in his sermons and letters he said evolve or die sometimes silent he said is the most eloquent answer najul balagha encourages a depth in life Imam stresses morality he warns of unchecked striving for more in the world an obsession a preoccupation with things and the illusion of ownership he warns against identifying with i have therefore i am and the more i have the more i am he he actually warns us against it you know one of the philosophers descartes said i think therefore i am look what imam ali said 1400 years ago he says i am when i let go of self definitions and when i surrender to divinity it's just something else we went over his um will before but i'll, I'll just go over it again 
I advise you, he said, all my children, my relatives, and whosoever receives this message, to be conscious of Allah, to remove your differences, to strengthen your ties. I heard your grandfather say, reconciliation of your differences is more worthy than all prayers and all fasting. And look what he says about the Quran. Remain attached to the Quran. Nobody should surpass you in being intent on it or more sincere in implementing it. So just a little bit about the these days and nights we talked about how on the 19th he was struck on the um, on the head with a poison sword by Abdul Rahman ibn Muljim and there is a riwayah that says that somebody came to the house of Ali on that day on the 19th and they said we saw a whole long queue of children and each child was holding a cup of milk and they said you know what give him this milk it's good for him he, we want him better we want our guardian back he was known as the father of the orphans he was surrounded by his family on his deathbed he spoke a few words to each one he told them the wasiya the will that he wanted to say Imam Hassan was near his head, Imam Hussein was near his feet, Imam Hussein was crying and he said, Bunaya, don't cry, your day will be harder than mine, la yawma kayomik, there is no day like your day. He gave everybody's, everybody's hand to Hassan, so he gave responsibility to Imam Hassan. He called Zainab and he said, you will walk in these streets as a prisoner. She couldn't comprehend it, she said, hi, but I have a brother like Abbas in a corner Umm al was crying and he said why are you crying and she said but my Abbas you haven't called him he called Imam Hussein gave, gave Hazrat Abbas's hand to Imam Hussein and he said he his hands will protect you in a Jumu'ah morning he says I see Rasulullah and Fatima he says Imam, to Imam Hassan and Hussein you will give me ghusl the hunut that I use for Rasulullah and you will recite seven takbirs in my Salatul Mayyat. The other person for whom there will be seven is the Mahdi. Carry my janaza from behind. The front will go itself. A day to remember him. A phenomenal human being. We have all been orphaned today. Let us now end with a surah al fatiha for all the marhumin, especially those of your family, those who are ill, and those who are in trouble. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahmanir Rahim, Malik Yomid Deen, Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nastain, Ihdina Sarat al Mustaqim, Sarat al Ladina and Amta Alehim, Ghairi al Maghdubi Alehim, Waladalin. لي خمسة أطفي بها حر الوباء الحاتمة المصطفى والمرتضى وعبناهما والفاتمة شكرا لك خير إن شاء الله سير تمارك